Tuning into new potentials is a really good manifesting meditation created by Dr. Joe Dispenza. So this video is gonna be about a review of it, but I'm also going to challenge you for a week to do tuning into new potentials. Now there's a little more to just doing it every day, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, first, let me talk a little bit about the tuning into new potentials meditation. So this is a really good one at changing something in your life or getting something in your life, uh, manifesting if you will. So a lot of people will use this meditation when they're wanting to maybe get new health or, uh, or better health or they want a new job or new love or money or something like that. And this meditation actually has you focus on two potentials. And what that means is a potential is that anything that you send out to the universe has a potential of coming back to you. So you can hear, you've heard about like karma. You send out good karma, you get good karma back. You send out bad karma, you get bad karma back. And it's kind of the same concept. You're sending out this potential of something that could possibly come to you. You're sending it out to the universe in hopes that you will get it back. And um, so, this meditation, it's about 43 minutes long and it has a separate breathwork track. If you, when you purchase it on his website, it has a separate breathwork track. Um, so you can do them both together or you can do just the meditation by itself. Uh, the meditation starts off basically like most of Dr. Joe's meditations where he has you just kind of tune into the blackness um, and kind of get you out of those thinking brain waves and into the brain waves that will help you better manifest. So then, um, once he kind of gets through all that, then you will get to the part where you're going to tune into your first potential and then eventually your second potential. So um, I've heard this suggestion a lot that your potentials, you choose one that you really wanna work on. So for example, let's say that you are wanting to manifest $100,000, okay? Um, focus on one that you really, really want and then make the other one a fun one. Now that's not something you have to do, but that's what a lot of people I've heard do. So let's say the second one you want to, uh, I don't know, get this new red sweater or something or a free cup of coffee. So you make the first one is like, wow, that one seems kind of difficult. And the other one you're just like, whatever, if I get a free cup of coffee or a sweater, that'd be awesome. You know, you just, you're not so focused on it. You're not obsessed about it and you don't overthink it. So the first one, um, he has you basically focus on it and what it feels like and he has you send it out to the universe and bring that feeling back to you. And that is kind of the important part about trying to manifest something is feeling it. So for example, you want $100,000 and you send it out to the universe and you wanna feel like, oh my goodness, I have $100,000, that's so amazing, what could I do with that? You just think about it and you, you feel how it would feel like to actually have that $100,000 because the universe will be like, oh, she has this $100,000, she feels it, she knows it. Okay, let's give her this $100,000. The problem is oftentimes when we send out some of these big things to the universe, we have limiting beliefs about them. So you send out $100,000 and you're like, okay, cool, I'm gonna get $100,000. And then in the back of your mind, you're like, uh, how is that gonna even happen? Where is it gonna come from? I usually have to work for $100,000. What? I, I, I'm not deserving of $100,000. So those are what are called limiting beliefs. And by you sending out, oh, I want $100,000, and then by you saying, uh, how am I gonna get that? You're kind of telling the universe, I want it, but I don't deserve it. Or how am I get it? gonna get it? And so you're basically kind of like canceling out your desire, your manifestation, and the universe is like, okay, I guess you don't want it, so it doesn't give it to you. And so by doing this meditation over and over again, you're training your brain, you're sending out the signal to the universe that you really want this, you really desire it, and you're gonna start to feel it more. Um, same thing, like it goes on basically to do that with the second thing. So you can be like cup of coffee. Oh, that'd be great if I got a free cup of coffee. And with that, it's like, you don't really have too many limiting beliefs about it and be like, whatever, if I get a free cup of coffee, great. If I don't, whatever. But the hundred thousand dollars, you're like, man, I could really use that money right now. And you're kind of like, oh, you're fighting it. Um, there's not a lot of limiting beliefs around getting a free cup of coffee. And I do have to say that I've gotten a lot of these small, what people call like micro or mini manifestations, um, just by like, oh, that'd be cool. And then you're like, wow, that really just happened. I mean, the biggest one that my family always does is parking spots. We get like the front parking spot at airports and different, you know, different things like that. 
So um, it's just kind of those fun things, make it a fun one. So um, that's a really good meditation to do for manifestation. And I'm gonna get a little bit more into some of the details of, um, I don't know, working around those limiting beliefs. So let me go on to this challenge that I'm talking about. This is something that I just kind of did um, and I wanna challenge you to do this. This is something I somewhat created. A couple of our friends um, kind of did this together, something similar. We didn't really do um, tuning into new potentials every day, although I did do that during this week. The idea is for one week, you focus on what you really, really want to manifest. What is that one thing that you really want to get? Is it love? Is it health? Is it $100,000? Whatever it is that you are really desiring, I want you to spend a whole week focusing on that. So for example, just you don't just do the tuning in to, to new potentials every day for a week and then just be like, okay, where's my $100,000? It could happen. That that is true. That has happened to many people. I mean, they've done it in like two, one meditation. Even I've heard, you know, or maybe just a couple. And then it's like, wow, here it is. That was pretty cool. That was pretty easy. Let me try this again. Um, but for most of us, we struggle with those limiting beliefs. Oh, I don't deserve a hundred thousand dollars. How in the world am I going to get it? Is it going to fall from the sky? What the heck? So, by living in it and embodying it for a week, it starts to become more believable, if you will. You start to become more of that, you experience it more. So do the meditation every day. Just like I said, just focus on like that one that you really want. Do it every day, focus on that. So like I said, I'm gonna go back to that whole $100,000 thing. So you focus on that. And when you get out of the meditation, you know, you know, a lot of times they say, just kind of forget about it. But Yes, you can do that. You can forget about it because sometimes when you obsess over it, you're looking for it, you're waiting for it, and that shows lack, and then you're basically telling the universe that you're giving it mixed signals. So you've probably heard of like going in your meditation and living that way outside of your meditation. You're gonna do that same thing with your manifestation. So you do your meditation, and then I want you to, I don't wanna use the word obsess, but I don't know how else to describe it, but almost obsess over your manifestation for the week. Think about like maybe that crush you had and you just like thought about them so much and the feeling, oh my goodness, or that vacation that you're about to go on and you're just so excited about it and you just can't wait to go and you're thinking about it and you're feeling it. So I want you to kind of do that same thing with this manifestation you're working on. So you get out of your meditation and you're um, eating your breakfast, you're brushing your teeth, you're driving in your car, whatever you're doing throughout the day, I want you to just think about, wow, $100,000, that's so cool. I'm gonna be having $100,000. What am I gonna spend that on? Oh, that would be so cool. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna react when that arrives? That's so cool. You're just like obsessing. Like I said, I don't like to use that word, but you are, you're just thinking about it so much and you're becoming that. And that is key to getting it. And you're sending that out to the universe that this is really gonna happen and this is really how I'm going to feel. The other part of the challenge too is I did this, okay, I did this several weeks ago and the challenge is when you come up against a block or a limiting belief. So you're like, man, I'm gonna get $100,000. This is so cool and then in the back of your mind you're like, this is, this is not possible. What am I telling myself? This is not gonna happen. Right then catch yourself when you're telling yourself this isn't gonna happen or how is this gonna happen? I, I don't believe this is going to happen. Whatever you're thinking in your mind that's going against it, that's negative around it, stop yourself and think, why am I feeling this? Why am I thinking this? Um, oftentimes it helps you dig a little deeper into it. Maybe you were poor growing up and you're like, well, I don't deserve this money. I'm not worthy of this money. You have to work hard to get anything in your life. You know, you've got these beliefs. And so just kind of think about that and be like, okay, I need to change that. And you can kind of just becoming aware of those limiting beliefs or those negative beliefs or negative programs, if you will, kind of help you, it becomes, they become aware. There's a focus on them and it can kind of, it's like when there's a problem and you ignore it, but now you're focusing on the problem, then it can kind of start to work itself out a little bit. 
Um, Dr. Joe does have another uh, meditation called Changing Beliefs and Perceptions. And so if you're finding there's a negative or limiting belief that keeps coming up while you're working on your manifestation, then jump in and do Changing Beliefs and Perceptions. And it's kind of the same idea. You take that limiting belief, let's just say, um, I, I, I'm not worthy of this money, I don't deserve it. So let's say that you take that limiting belief and it's the same thing, he has you basically just surrender it to the universe, what would it feel like to not even have that anymore? So that's a good meditation you can kind of do maybe along with this to let go of some of those limiting beliefs. I think limiting beliefs are some of the hardest things that really prevent us from getting to where we want to be. And um, there's no, I say there's no easy way to get rid of limiting beliefs because trust me, I've got lots of little limiting beliefs that I realize they come up and I'm like, man, I just want to get rid of it. And you can, so it can be easy, but the same thing, you have to surrender that and just be like, oh, I just can't do this. Universe, take it from me. Because otherwise you're like, what am I going to do? Do I have to think this? Do I have to do that? And you start analyzing it and thinking about it too much. And that's where it gets difficult when you're just really trying to nitpick it because we're used to in this 3D world that we have to do things step by step by step. And we do one thing and it happens and do one thing and it happens. And it's like baby steps, which it is somewhat baby steps, but it can be easy if you're willing to surrender it. So um, when I did this, um, it was it was pretty cool. I mean, it was a really kind of out there manifestation. I don't want to share it because like they say, kind of like about birthday wishes and stuff that um, you don't want to tell somebody because it may not come true. And I kind of understand that now because sometimes when I've told people different things that I'm trying to work on, sometimes they'll look at you. You know, you can tell your, your spouse or your best friend or your mom and just say, I'm going to get $100,000 and they'll be like, so right away, just a look that they give you, they're like, how are you gonna do that? Or that's not possible. Right away, that's gonna make you think in your subconscious, well, maybe they're right. Maybe that isn't possible. What am I thinking? So it's gonna put some negative doubts and stuff to you or send out negative energy to that and you don't want that so just try to keep it to yourself now on the other hand you could have somebody that's like dude i was going to do the same thing but i was going to do a million dollars or something like that and that's great that would help feed it but you just aren't sure how other people might react so just be careful who you might sh want to share this manifestation with um so anyway going back to me doing it um so i did it and it was like the first or second day, it was just like, wow. In my meditation, it was like all this stuff just started coming up about um, why I don't think I'm deserving of it, why I can't get it. And I think just that awareness of it coming up was really great. And I started just trying to tell myself that I'm unlimited and any of this is possible. So why are you doubting this? And it was like, I'm just trying to train my brain to say, this is possible, this is possible. And um, believe it or not, I started seeing signs from the universe. Now, it wasn't my manifestation, but you will start seeing synchronicities. Um, I've had a lot of these things happen when I have this big dream and I kind of put it out there. And then next thing I know, somebody's like talking to me and I'm like, it's like, well, this is so weird that you're like telling me this because this is like part of what I'm trying to manifest. And it's like, it's like almost like these puzzle pieces of these people getting put together to help you out in your manifestation or whatever it happens to be. And you're just like, wow. So like I said, some people can get their manifestation like, you know, right away. And some people it takes time because like I said, these limiting beliefs. And so, but the more attention you put to it, the more the universe is going to say, hey, look, you are on the right track. Keep going. And don't doubt those synchronicities. I did at first and now I'm just like, that's pretty cool. If you have the word coincidence come to your mind, those coincidences are really signs from the universe to say, hey, look, you know, you are on the right track. You are manifesting this. Even if, let's say that you're working on $100,000. <laughs> it's funny because my son actually did that one time. He said, um, I don't even remember if he did a meditation. He was like six at the time or something. And he's like, I don't remember if it was a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or some, some big amount of money. And we're like, wow, that's pretty cool, dude. And guess what? The very next day we're walking down the street downtown. He finds a hundred dollar bill in the street. And I kind of look at my husband like, 
interesting. So it was almost like a sign from the universe that this little kid was trying to work on this large sum of money, but he finds a $100 bill in the street the very next day. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. So these are the kind of signs that don't question them. If they kind of feel like, okay, maybe this has something to do with what I'm trying to manifest, don't question it. I mean, you can question it, but look at it and say, hmm, okay, maybe I am on the right track. And then keep going. It's like that motivation to keep you going. So that's my challenge for you. Um, and you know, if you don't wanna do this challenge, that's fine. This is still an incredible, uh, meditation to do and um, uh, my friend had I think he said he did it every day for a year and he's just like I am just like everything is just like it's almost like too much all this stuff and I'm like wow that's some dedication to do that every day for a year so um, but like I said this is a really good meditation to do I do challenge you to at least try to do a week or a couple days I don't know what it is but like I said just embody it and become your manifestation try for 30 days and see you know especially if that after that seven days you're like oh I'm on the right track just keep on going and see where it leads you and I would love to hear some stories even of your free cups of coffee or whatever and and you don't even have to for those free parking spaces it's not like I'm driving I'm like okay I'm gonna go meditate for 30 minutes and hope for a parking spot it's like I'm just like in my my head I'm like I can see this parking spot and it opens right up and we're right up front and all this stuff I actually did that I don't know if I should say this I'm gonna share that story real quick okay so and then i'll finish i was going to cancun my husband was volunteering at a dr joe event and i was um, coming in later a few days later and um i had set up a time to meet with some friends and i'm looking at my flight and everything and i'm like i am not going to get there in time and so i'm like okay you know what i'm going to manifest that i get there before the time and i just became it and i'm like i am going to manifest everything going so smooth on my whole trip so i arrive at the airport and there is no wait at all in the security no wait i'm like wow this is interesting it was a weekend too and so then i get to the gate and um I actually get a seat. Well, I'm on, I was flying Southwest and that's where you choose your own seat. And even though I was in a, like, I don't know, I was like probably like the 70th person to board the plane, somehow I got a like fourth row seat. I was pretty close to the front. So being close to the front, when I get to Cancun, I'm one of the first few off the plane. And being the first few off the plane, I arrived to customs. And any of you that have been in customs, you're like, oh, customs, you know, I mean, you can wait 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. And you're like, oh, I kid you not, there was no wait, no wait. There was one lady that was like walking in line the same time as me and, and she's like, dude, uh, take a picture of me or something. This is just weird. I'm like, I know this is just crazy. I've never seen this before. So no wait at customs. And then I get to um, the parking or not the parking, the transportation that brings us to the event. And um, they usually have like these big buses that take you down to the event. Every once in a while they might have just like a small shuttle. And um, I remember the last couple times I had been, I had to sit on the bus. I waited like 45 minutes to an hour for all the people to get on the bus. And then I finally drove down there and there was traffic and all this stuff. So I'm just ready for that. And I'm like, okay. So I get there and they have one of those little 12 passenger vans and they, he waves the guy down and he's like, hey, do you have room for one more? They were just pulling out and, and they got me right into the van. And I was like, this is awesome. So I got right in the van and then heart's head, headed down to um, the Barcelo and there was no traffic because they've had all this construction at the airport. There was no traffic. And then I arrive and any of you that have been there, you know you have to wait for about an hour for check-in because they have this whole waiting room. You get a number and all that stuff. But thankfully um, I went and talked to somebody and I said, well, my husband had already checked in and then they brought me over to another desk and they were able to go and find a file and everything. And I checked in like that. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. And I still had 45 minutes to spare before I was meeting my friends for dinner. And I was just like, wow, that was really cool. And I, every time something would happen, it even like, as it was going, I was like, this is really happening. This is really happening. And I, it was one of those fun things like, okay, let's see if I can do this. It wasn't like, oh, no, it's always bad at customs. I'm going to get to customs and it's going to be bad and traffic's going to be bad. I'm going to have to, I didn't do that. I was just like, let's see, 
let's just try this out. And so like I said, try some of the small ones first to see. Um, okay, so there's my story for a little motivation. Um, one of those small ones, but the small ones can work. And if the small ones work, isn't it possible for the big ones to work? Really? I mean, think about it. I mean, that, that sh those little things should be motivation enough for you to keep going and see, okay, yeah, well, if it's possible for these little things that happen, why can't the big things happen? Get rid of those limiting beliefs and keep embodying it and becoming it and believing it and feeling it and it will happen. Good luck in your manifestations.